Righto, we're going to jump in and have a look at the March Freshwater Bass and Yellers box and explore how to use what you get this time around. Let's start early morning, late afternoon. Best times for a surface bite, and we all know how addictive that is. So this month you've got the Ozuri Popper 65F. These things have a great little finish, a nice weight for casting on lighter line. Anything probably from six to 12 pound, you'll cast it pretty easily with. And obviously a little feathered treble on the back. The way I like to work it is either the triple pop or the single pop pause. Now with the triple pop, you'll cast it out into or near a snag that you think might be holding fish or along a bank, along the edge of lilies. Uh, yeah, bass hold up in many spots, but yeah. Uh, overhangs, lay downs, lily pads, overgrown grass, especially with all this rain, that water's come up. The bass are going to be up high, foraging in these new waters that they can get to, to look for food. So grass that is now submerged is a great option to find these bass laying in, and top water is a great way to do it as well. So yeah, going back to the triple pot, cast it in to uh, where you want to go. It is a short, very short, sharp pop, 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 just so it doesn't move too far, but you're spraying uh, a fair bit of water, you know, pop, 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 let it pause, let it sit. Then you do the triple pop again. Short, sharp, pop, 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 real quick. But you still don't want to move it too far. That's why you want to keep it short. Short pops to keep it in the strike zone. Or just the pop and pause. Cast it out into your structure, wherever you're aiming for. And just a quick pop, pause, stop. Pop, pause, stop. Over and over again. Make sure to give it a good pause. Often this is when the bass will come up and sit underneath it watching it. They won't hit it often until they think it's about to go away. That's when they smack it. But yeah, that's the Yozuri Popper 65F. Next we've got a weedless option. Well, not 100% weedless, but a fairly snag resistant option. In the Gamoku Pivoting Y System Spinnerbait. So these things are quite a finesse looking spinnerbait. Nice and light, Light, nice and small. Great snack size option for any size bass. If you haven't fished with a spinnerbait yet, while well, you're in for a treat, just tie it straight to your line and get casting. Slow roll back after letting it sink for a few seconds and you're practically done. That's how you fish it. Cool thing with this one is though, the pivoting wire system on the front allows you to change the action, change the swimming depth of how this thing runs. You can essentially move the wire up, move the wire down to chop and change how this spinnerbait works. And these are a fantastic option for when the fish aren't quite on the chew or the sun's up a bit higher and they're not so active. You know, they're sitting tight in the shades, they're sitting tight up under the overhangs and in the structure. This allows you to get it in there and most of the time get it back out again, hopefully with a fish on the end. So spinnerbait by Gamoku. Awesome option for this month's Bass and Yellers box. Now this time is a triple whammy. We've got three here that we've put in the box to essentially act as a combo that you can fish all together. You've got the Big Bite Baits Pro Swimmer. So these are a USA made soft plastic. Big paddle tail. I've caught a lot of bass on these. Um, and everyone knows these are my favorite jig heads, the Domeki Rig Jig Heads. So you'll just simply line this up to find out where it's going to go through your plastic and where it's going to come out. Insert it through the middle, making sure to come out where you lined it up. And then you've got your plastic rigged, ready to go. With that, we've included the Fish Arrow J Spinners. Now you can clip these directly to the eye of the jig head that you just rigged to your plastic. This is now essentially turned your plastic into a soft plastic slash spinnerbait hybrid. Definitely my favorite way to fish for bass. I use um, this sort of combination all the time. Um, you can also chop and change the hook for uh, a weedless setup too if you are having trouble 
getting it in and out of snags. But this here, most river bass fishers, even dam bass, if you pick flicking structure, this is their go-to setup. A beetle spin, a jig head, a plastic. Boom, done. You can cover so much ground. You can fish in pretty heavy structure. And it's such a great all-rounder to fish. So you've got one, two, three. Uh, you've got your Yozuri popper. And then you've also got your spinner bait. So you're set for this month to head out on the water, target some nice bass and yellows, and uh, hopefully pull some out of the structure. If you want to check out the bass and yellows box or any of the others in the range, just head over to www.tackleclub.com.au. Pick a box that suits your needs, and welcome to the club.